Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today with a fun video. I'm creating my Soul Sauna. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, Disney Pixar released Soul on Disney Plus, and I finally sat down and watched it for New Year's Day. By the way, guys, happy 2021. <laughs> I mean, woo, we're here, we made it. Um, I hope I wasn't the only one thinking that the world was gonna go up in flames the minute that ball dropped in Times Square. So, good thing we're all here. I'm happy we're all here. <laughs> Anyways, after the holidays kind of like calmed down, I finally like sat down at 10.45 last night and watched Soul. My goodness, people. I wanted to talk about like my goals for 2021 when it comes to art or just in general for my life and soul like opened my eyes big time big time guys i mean i do not think that soul was created for children don't think it i mean kids could watch it and go "Ooh, cute pretty oh colors you know but i honestly think that this movie was created for adults to wake up and smell the roses and just enjoy life a little bit more and remember what made life worth living. And, you know, I was thinking about that a ton and I was just like, geez, oh, Pete's, this movie is deep. It was a beautiful story, but my goodness, the deep inspirational quotes throughout that whole movie, it makes you think. And I mean, if you are 50, if you are 90, if you're 16, if you're 13, this movie should be like, whoa, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> but no, I love this movie. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about like what really inspired me was the lost soul scene when he said, you know, these are souls that are completely lost because they're not dead. They just, they forgot the meaning. They're so passionate about something that they forgot about what joy it brought to their lives. So now they're doing it over and over and over and they're just living, but it's not bringing them joy. And so they just, they get consumed and lost. And I was like, that speaks to me right there. <laughs> I really spoke to me because, you know, I have the inkling that I'm being shadow banned <laughs> on a lot of social medias and I don't really know why. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that I'm being shadow banned on here, YouTube, and I feel like I was shadow banned on Instagram and thank God TikTok's kind of like pulling through for me and I'm getting a little bit of views and stuff, but it's just like... It's just like my, my stuff is just climbing downwards and it just has me thinking about how I need to reorganize my art. And you know, I even thought about like focusing more on my Etsy shop, creating more original art and creating more original characters because you know, I was creating tons and tons of original characters in throughout all years, way before social media. And even at the beginning of Instagram, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of my Instagram, there are still tons of original characters on there. And that was what kept me going was all these original characters. And you know, I had to leave like one of my dream colleges back in like 2012 and 2011, 2012. I had to leave my dream college and I had to move back home and go to like a community college first and then a com and then another university and if you've stuck with me that long you know that it just kind of crushed my soul because talk about shadow banned i was flat out banned from that department that i wanted to be in i wanted to be a uh, backstage you know set designer for theater and the head of the department just told me no i don't want you in my program anymore and it's just it just breaks my heart and i didn't even do anything wrong she just wanted to call the shots for me and said that i was more of an artist and i was a theater designer and i was like that's just crap because aren't the two going in hand in hand and i mean theater has always been a passion of mine why can't i be a theater designer and an artist i mean that's what you do so it, it was weird but it, it crushed my soul and honestly all my original art got me through that it, it, it pulled me out of that slump i had original characters and we were all getting together and they were helping me heal just what my original characters did but i just feel it 
almost like a challenge that I need to get back to that mindset of having my original characters be brought more to life and just interacting with each other and just with my art I want to create more original things and instead of creating for the likes or you know I've been creating and posting a lot of stuff that I thought that would be like popular because I was at I was having this ultimate fear that I'm losing all these followers on Instagram and I'm being shadow banned and the algorithms totally kicking me down and that the same things happening on YouTube and I was just like goodness I you know I just need to create what I need to create so that's why I want to talk about my plans for my art like path for 2021 I want to focus on Etsy my Etsy store and creating more fun things how I can create my own original art and just you know be able to make that into a career because so many people have made their Etsy's into their career and I have done the retail life I was full-time at a retail store and it's just soul sucking and it was getting worse and worse and I was getting worse I mean guys from the point that I started that full-time job to now I had gained 50 pounds because of how much stress it was and I mean I hadn't had boil zits on my face until that job came around like I had really really bad acne about 2015 I mean it was bad boils and everything but when I started that full-time job at that retail store oh my goodness I mean the zits were unbearable and they were just boiling and it was all stress it was stress eating eating past nine o'clock because that's when I got off work and then it just all these terrible practices were killing me so yes I want to make Etsy into a full-time job um, if I can, God willing, 2021 gives me that. I, I don't know. But um, anyways, I want that to happen. And I want to focus on that. And I want to focus getting back to more of my own original art. And, you know, inspired things instead of just copying stuff over and over again. I just really want to get back into original stuff. I was also thinking of opening up a Patreon and just having people kind of, you know, come along on this journey with me. I'm still trying to figure out what to do exactly. I already support a couple of artists on Patreon and I follow them and they, they inspire me. It's like a it's like a blog fan page and we're all here, we're all supporting each other and we all love these artists and that's what I kind of want to head in that direction too. So that and I was just thinking about possibly posting YouTube videos once a week on here and then using YouTube as a platform I was thinking of like streaming again on Twitch or on here um, haven't made up my mind if I want to stream on here or if I want to stream on Twitch I have to figure out the rules and stuff on that but I wanted to do more streaming and doing more real-time art videos where I sit down with you guys and we all draw together and we all talk together which would be really nice but yeah there we go I'm all in I'm all psychological and inspirational and just <laughs> but I would love to know some of your 2021 goals I know that we all just kind of have to like slowly approach 2021 with some caution I know I'm like that already I've just after 2020 I'm just like you know how you like you see a bunch of mouse traps out in a, a valley and you just look at them and you're like, I'm just gonna tiptoe around these and hope for the best that nothing jumps up and bites me in the butt. Because that was 2020. <laughs> so I, I feel like I'm cautiously approaching 2021. I'm having these awesome ideas or thoughts of how to improve on my life. So that's the approach I'm going with. I'm not setting goals too high. My goals for 2021 is to, you know, create more original art, focus on my Etsy business, consider Patreon and streaming and posting regularly, regularly, <laughs> once a week on here, whether it's a tutorial art, art video, just get back to that 
that whole entire schedule just getting into that again also shedding this terrible 2020 50 pounds that i gained this was not a quarantine 50 this was a 2020 50 pounds that needs to come off my body because i just need to get it off <laughs> What are some of your goals for 2021, guys? I'd love to know. Leave in the comments down below. And I hope you guys watch Soul. It's amazing. It'll make you woke. Quotation marks. I'm too old for this. Anyway, <laughs> I will see you guys later. Happy New Year.